Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial from biggerplate.com showing you how to use the task functionality within Mind Manager for Mac. The task functionality within Mind Manager is a great way of turning your mind map into more of a project management tool if you're a slightly more advanced user or even just as a means of ensuring you're ticking off things on your to-do list. To add tasks to your map, simply click on the topic you wish to change into a task. So for example, if we click on this one that says top task toolbar, which is a good bit of alliteration, we can then come up to this top toolbar and you'll see at the moment it's on the home drop down, the home menu. If we come over to task, you'll see we've got a selection of task related options. So for example, we can simply click here to add task info. Before we do that, we're going to show the task pane, which will open up this sidebar that basically has everything you need to work with the task management, the task uh, function. So for example, let's say we're going to change, we'll add a few tasks off this topic here. We'll say task one, task two, and task three. Now with these, I can then begin to input information in here. So for example, we can say the start date is tomorrow, Tuesday the 2nd. We can uh, define the end date as next Monday, June the 8th. And you'll see it automatically then starts to fill in some information. So for example, it tells you that it's a five workday project or a five workday task. You can then do things like add resources. So if I say manage here, if I click on manage, you'll see we get this pop-out window where I've already input myself and Liam. And let's say we're available 40 hours a week and we can put in a, a per hour rate, etc. That then means if I say OK, and if I select, for example, Liam as the resource to complete this task, you'll see it has automatically calculated the resource cost, so the cost of having Liam complete this task. Similarly, on this one, I might say there's a task that begins on Wednesday, ends only two days later on the Friday, and let's say that I am the resource for that one, and you'll see it's calculated cost there. I'm a bit cheaper than Liam, I'm sad to say, but it's probably a fair assessment. Now you'll then notice that you have some options down here to roll up tasks and roll up costs. So if I come to the parent topic to which those tasks are associated, and if I now click roll up tasks and roll up costs, you'll see it creates this amalgamation display where it's showing you the total cumulative cost of the two tasks, the amount of work days required for it, and the beginning and end dates. So as you can imagine, if you really build out this task picture, if you are a project manager or if you've just got a lot of to-dos that you want to tick off and you want to be really detailed in uh, actioning them and how much they're going to cost and how much time they'll take, this is just a really useful way of keeping a good view of the total picture of your projects and the total workload. Now to edit your tasks, you simply click on the task you wish to edit, and you can either come to the sidebar where you can see already the information is there, and for example, we can do things like update progress by putting in little markers, update priorities, etc. You can also right-click within the specific elements of the task, so for example, I can right-click on my own name here and say remove resource, and it removes me from that task. If I wanted to remove the task altogether, I can right-click and say remove task info. And you'll see it's maintained things like the markers because they're not specifically task related, but I can then delete them of my own accord like so. Hopefully that's all you need to start using the task functionality within Mind Manager. It's a really simple, effective and powerful tool and very easy to get to grips with, and I'm sure you'll find it very useful too. For more Mind Manager templates, tutorials and training, visit biggerplate.com.